guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about how to download media from Reuters Media Express. So the first thing you have to do is open up your web browser, type in mediaexpress.reuters.com, wait for it to load up. This shouldn't be any different if you're using Chrome or other web browsers, but you never know. You know how fickle technology can be. You need to sign in. I can't tell you the password here, but you can ask one of your lecturers and I'm sure they will let you know what the password is that we've got at the center. It's actually really simple to understand. What you need to think about is that Reuters Media Express allows you to access every single thing that Reuters is putting out real time. Maybe text, it can be video, it can be images, and all of this is at your disposal for news days and homeworks and anything that you want to do. Okay, so the first thing that you need to know is that there's different ways of browsing through all of the information that you can find. There's the video channels on this side, which basically just tags them either by region, so you could look at all the things that are happening in America, and if you click that, it only shows you stories from America, or they're also tagged by categories of so things like life, sports, tourism and travel, that kinds of things. So it only shows you that kind of content. That is one way to filter things. The other one is up here. You can click and unclick these little boxes, so you know that it'll just show you videos, or advisories. Advisories are little texts that tell you what is coming up. Remember that these guys have got a pretty pretty intense agenda and they have a lot of things booked in that you know that you can expect and it tells you when to expect them for. So for example here this one is upcoming and expected delivery by this time. So it's also really useful if you're plan planning ahead. Another way of doing it is to come to this site. This is a normal search bar just like you would have in absolutely every single web browser or library catalog and it also has this little drop down menu that lets you choose where it's going to look for these words either the headline text slugs things like that so let's find something olympic related because the olympics are going on now so as you can see this is all the information that they've got in real time the ones that have a little video player on the side are obviously video and the ones that have a t are text or advisory so these can also be really useful now if you look over to this side this is displaying the first story, which says Russian ice hockey team ready to take on US. And it's highlighted in blue, so you know that's the one that you're looking at. And it has a built-in media player, so you can actually play this out. And this is just like YouTube, and it lets you see if this is exactly the shot that you need, and if this is the things that you need. Now, if you look down here, if you scroll down, this will give you a transcript of what this video is. It has a shot list, it has translated sound bites from people who are speaking, so you can actually quote them. And it is actually very useful, and it also has a story that they've written for it. Now that you've decided that this is the file that you actually need because you're writing about the Olympics, let's pretend, then all you need to do is download it. There's different options in the download bit. Ignore a XML and all, and just come straight towards this file download. Click on this little arrow facing down, and it'll give you this little drop down dialog box. As you can see, this video has a very long name that makes sense to Reuters because this helps them catalog all of the information that they're producing. But this is not gonna make your job easier, so double click and erase the name and write something that you understand that's going to make it easy for you to find this file okay if you're working in a map it's very important that you look at this next step this little box here that says hide extension has to be on click if you click it see what happened up here let me do that again the file extension is going to appear if i unclick it and then it disappears Macs have the ability of recognizing video files or different types of files without the file extension in it. But some PCs have a lot of trouble doing it. You just want to save yourself the trouble of having a file not play out in different devices. So just make sure that you always unclick it so it doesn't hide the extension. So it tells you what kind of file it is. Make sure you know where it is that you're downloading it to. So I'm putting it on my desktop. Click save and it's going to download really quickly. Now what you need to do is go into Final Cut and remember how we imported files before? File, Import, Media. You click on your desktop and let's find it. Here it is, Russian Ice Hockey Olympics. Let me play a little bit just so we know that it is the file that we're looking for. Yes, it is. Okay, click on Import Selected. Let's create a new event for it. 
And remember that this little box has to be ticked. Copy files to Final Cut Events folder. Why? Because if you don't collect that box and someone moves that file or takes it away from a USB stick, your computer has no actual backup to work from. And that can be terrifying because then you're going to lose the work that you've been doing. So just double click, double check that you've got that box ticked and that'll save you a lot of trouble. Now here's your file. You can play it out and you can see that it might be a little bit choppy and that's because these are very, very high resolution files shot for broadcast quality. So if you come and click here on this background tasks, it'll tell you that it's about 12% done importing it. So it's going to take it a little bit of time to transform it into a format that Final Cut can play it smoothly, but it will do it and it's not going to take 5 billion years, it's just going to take about 5 minutes tops. So just take a break, do something else, let Final Cut do its job and then you'll have really beautiful professional grade quality video to use for your news days and your news stories. See you later!